What's up guys, welcome to Data Refinement. In today's video, we're gonna talk about me selling inventory to a YouTube subscriber for $2,000 and how he made $400 profit and ran with the money in about three hours. We'll see you in the show. Hey guys, this video is the full life cycle of reselling. So definitely you need a pen and paper for this video. We'll put it on the screen as well, but there's a lot to go over. I'm going to go over literally the full cycle of reselling and all the different opportunities. So number one, we're going to talk about where these items came from. I sold 200 items that I purchased from a buyer at the Goodwill bins. So Goodwill got 200 items via donation from a customer for free. So don't Goodwill gets the items in for free, 200 random items. Now, at the Goodwill bins, it's a free for all. Everyone's looking for items. A buyer went through all those items, I would guess around 100,000 items, to pick out 200 items for me. The actual bill at Goodwill was $300. So on average, it was $1.50 per piece. And I would say that maybe half of the items were really light t-shirts and a few of the items were heavier and they were like jackets, coats, hoodies. And some of them were nicer brand heavier outerwear. So maybe they were outerwear, but also first class, really, really light. So Goodwill bins is pay by the pound. Their bill ended up being $300 for 200 pieces. They took those items. They sold that to me for $800. That's $4 per item. So that person already came up a $500 profit. So we have Goodwill who made $300 on that initial purchase from there, getting the donation for free. That person sold it to me. Or sorry, that person sold it to me for 800 so they made a $500 profit. I sold those same items to YouTube subscriber John for $2,000 with this crazy experiment saying, I'm going to sell these items and we'll split the profit. So I think I could sell the items for $3,300 on the platform whatnot after fees that would leave a net of $2,800. Now it's important to understand the $3,300 I sold it for on whatnot does not include shipping and tax. And later when I go over eBay, that will include shipping and tax. So it's a little bit different. You need to have all the different variables in place. So my goal was to sell for $3,300 on whatnot. I have that stream earlier in my YouTube channel. You guys can go over the 200 items I sold on the stream. And it took about three and a half hours and I was able to do it. I sold $3,300 worth after fees. I got $2,800 back. So John and I actually split the $800 profit. And he took the $400 profit for essentially doing nothing except for investing into this experiment so I can make this video. So this is really, really interesting to me because this is the full life cycle. Look at how many people got paid along the way. Goodwill got money from selling the donation. The Goodwill buyer got money for selling the donations that they cherry picked for me to me. I'm essentially the retailer selling it to the final customer. But in the middle of that, I actually sold a wholesale deal to John. So now this is the important part to consider. Not a daily refinement video without the alarm going off. When you sell the items on eBay, they would actually retail for a lot more. So I'm going to use the eBay calculator here and show a screenshot of the items averaging $30. Now it's important. $30 times 200 is 6,000. Why does this screenshot show 6,600? It's because there's always tax involved and you need to factor in tax because eBay charges you fees on the tax as well. So does whatnot. Every platform charges you tax on shipping and tax. It's because when they collect the payment, they need to pay a payment processing fee. That's where that comes from. So $6,600 on eBay, $3,300 on whatnot, which is literally about half. So people are asking, what's the difference between whatnot and eBay? eBay, you get way higher prices and you do not need a social media following. You can see I have a relatively large YouTube following and I was still only able to get $16.50 per item, which I would consider pretty good. So I'm going to take the whole life cycle for you guys. If I had just purchased from the Goodwill bins person and sold it myself on eBay for 6,600, I would have made a profit of $3,000 per week, which I consider sort of the holy grail of reselling. That's you going out by yourself to the Goodwill bins, finding 210 items, which is 30 items per day, selling them for $30, including shipping. You just made $3,000 profit if I purchased it from a buyer, if I did all the work by myself, that means my cost of goods would have been $300 and I would have sold it for $6,600, including tax and shipping on eBay. That is so ridiculous. That's 22 X your money. Get something in for 300, sell for 6,600. That is the largest opportunity in the reselling niche. 
everybody out there listening right now wondering the way to make the most money, that is the most money. So people are, like to say that it's easier with staff, it's easier with crew, it's easier with suppliers. It's absolutely not easier because your cost of goods is way higher. I'm paying $4 per item. You're paying $1.50 per item if you go do it yourself. Garage sale, on average, the items are between $1 and $2. So look at the discrepancy between somebody running a business wholesale, somebody running it as a buyer, somebody running it as a retailer. There's so many different ways to make money in reselling. And I thought this was a really, really cool experiment because it's the full life cycle. We're showing stuff from directly from donations all the way to retailing it to the final customer. And I have more news for you. So please smash the like button, consider subscribing. This video is like a whirlwind in your brain. There's so much involved because the people I sold the items to on whatnot, if you guys watch the auction, some of the items went for a dollar. Some of the items went for $2. Some of the items went for $7. Some of the items went for $50. Some went for $100. So essentially, in that mix, there are also people who will resell the item. So it's pretty interesting to see how many opportunities there are, but 22 times your money, if you do all the work yourself, don't tell me it's easier with staff, it's not. If you wanna make $3,000 a week by yourself, you can essentially go to the Goodwill bins all week and then do one day of listing all those items on the eBay, make $3,000 profit on your own. That's amazing. That's 10 times your money. 10 times your money. You start with 300, leave with 3,000. That's enough money. And imagine you do that just twice. You repeat that cycle two times. You go from 30, you go from $300 to $3,000 to $30,000. You can do that all in one year starting with $300. If you don't have 300 bucks, that's cool. Start with 30, right? And to get $30 according to our experiment that we just went over right now, you only need $3. Everyone listening right now can do this experiment with $3. It's just two more cycles. So this really blew my mind because I was able to make $2,000 profit buying from a buyer in literally three and a half hours. That really is mind blowing. And also, I'm never gonna do that experiment again because I might as well just do it myself. I just let John get $400 so we could talk about it on this video. So I appreciate John because he invested that money into our Patreon at patreon.com slash the resource podcast because now he knows the truth about how this works. Oh man, I've got so many bonuses for you guys in this video. Um, I also gave John the opportunity because um, I'm a nice guy if he wanted to exchange the $400 profit for 200 items next week, because I, I go shopping every single week for new inventory, that he would have been able to make $1,000 instead of 400. But he decided, you know what? I'll take the 400 now. I don't want to make the $1,000 in the future listing, doing all that work, storing. I don't want to do all that. I just want to take my 400 now for participating in your experience. So let me know in the comment section below, would you have just taken the 400 or would you have taken the inventory knowing that I'm a good buyer? to make your 1,000 or from watching this video or you like, I'm going to the Goodwill bins right now. I'm gonna hit up garage sales, flea markets. I'm gonna go look for all this stuff on my own. Or maybe you're thinking, I wanna be a buyer. I wanna supply somebody with stuff like this. So for me personally, I want all keepers. The person that brought me this inventory, every single item was awesome. Okay, so I don't want to spend the time training somebody how to do it. I'm looking for professional buyers. I've been working with this person for a long time. Also, they're not greedy. There were items in the 200 that were worth 100. So they gave me all those really good items so that I would buy kind of the five or $10 items that sometimes are in the mix, but not intentionally. This is something like maybe an Eileen Fisher sweater, which is a really good brand, but maybe has a hole in it. So it will still sell for five or $10 because of the powerful brand, but it's kind of a questionable item. So in order for me to absorb that, I need all the bangers. I need all the great pieces for that to make it worth my time. So hopefully that makes sense, guys. This video is really heavy, so I would maybe watch it a couple of times. There's a lot of information in this video, but it's the full life cycle. And honestly, this is one of the better videos I've ever made on my channel because it's the full life cycle. Yesterday I did the stream. All this stuff is going out today. That's one day, $2,000 profit. So I appreciate you guys. Join the Patreon if you want to learn how to do this yourself. We have calls on every single subject that you can think of with reselling and the different platforms. So you have people who are successful on Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, Amazon, you name it. We know how to do it. So we appreciate you guys. Until next time, take care.